Fournette. Fournette goes airborne. He's in. Touchdown, Jaguars. Tip and intercepted by Ramsey to close it out. It's over. The Jacksonville Jaguars have pulled off the upset of the playoffs. What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here, and the biggest storyline heading into the 2019 season for the Jacksonville Jaguars is that the boat has sailed, and the Jaguars are currently looking for a new franchise quarterback. And in my opinion, there's only about five guys I can see being the starting quarterback for the Jaguars in 2019 and I have compiled a list of those five guys so ladies and gentlemen here are five potential quarterbacks that will be playing for the Jacksonville Jaguars in 2019. Number five Daniel Jones quarterback Duke. Now one of the ways the Jaguars can find their next franchise quarterback is through the 2019 NFL draft and one of those quarterback prospects that are on the Jags radar is quarterback Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones has came from a West Coast offense. He is a decent looking quarterback. Uh, he threw two turnovers in his bowl game, really kind of lowered his draft stock. We're going to see what he is capable of at the combine as well to see how much that raises him up uh, some people's board as well. But as of now, he is probably the least likely rookie quarterback that the Jaguars will snatch up. But I could see a situation in which the Jags do that. Because the two quarterbacks that I think will go in the first round are Dwayne Haskins as well as Will Greer. Um, a lot of people are talking Drew Locke. I don't think Drew Locke ends up in Jacksonville. Not to say that he's not a good quarterback, but I just think with the way... Um, he is in the way the Jaguars are. I don't think it would necessarily be a good fit. Uh, Daniel Jones would be a good second, third round selection for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, if they do that, that means they will not be selecting a quarterback in the first round, which is something that I have an un a very unpopular opinion about, but I don't think it really matters if the Jaguars draft a quarterback in the first round because there are some other position groups that have heavy, heavy question marks on them. I would not be opposed to be drafting the best wide receiver in the draft with the seventh overall pick um, because either way we're going to end up having to trade up to get our guy. So I think if you don't see the Jaguars trade up to get a player, um, the Jags are going to use the strategy of drafting the best wide receiver in the draft and then trying to snag up Daniel Jones in the second round. Number four, Will Greer. Will Greer is a guy that a lot of Jags fans were really, really high on to start the uh, college football season. A lot of job bar fans were like, this is the future of the Jags. Let's see what Will Greer can do. And as the season kind of progressed, he kind of fell off and, you know, people's interest. And, you know, a lot of people kind of moved to Dwayne Haskins. Uh, Kyle Murray as well, who has declared uh, for the NFL draft uh, as of yesterday. So, you know, those guys have really taken precedent over, you know, guys like Daniel Jones, Will Greer, Drew Locke, you know, guys that we have talked about before. But Will Greer is a good passer of the ball. He just turns the ball over quite a bit. And that's the thing in the NFL is that you don't want to draft a kid out of college that already has turnover problems. And that's Will Greer. He has turnover problems in college. Um, I don't know how he's going to fix it in the NFL. But uh, if Will Greer ends up being our starting quarterback in 2019. I think that we take him in a later round. I don't think that we take him in the first round unless... Uh, we stay at seven, and Will Greer is still on the board, and we're like, hey, we need our quarterback. Haskins is already gone. Let's get Greer. Let's see what the kid can do. I think the only way that Jags really trade up in the draft is to get Dwayne Haskins. I don't think they're going to reach and try and trade up for guys like Daniel Jones and Will Greer. So the only way that the Jags should really draft Will Greer is if he's sitting on the board at number seven or in the second round if they decide to go wide receiver or something else in the first round so but it is still a potential possibility you don't know what the front office is thinking you don't know if they're in love with will greer um you don't know if they hate will greer but will greer is definitely a guy that could be a starting quarterback for the jags in 2019. coming in at number three we have big dick nick Foles, the veteran quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, there is a lot of pros and cons with going 
with Nick Foles for the 2019 season. I think if we get a guy like Nick Foles, there will be a younger quarterback backing him up, but he will be the starter uh, for the 2019 season unless he proves that he can't handle it, which if anything is to go off of his past resume, he's definitely more than ready to be a starting quarterback in the NFL. Now, by the time the Jags get him, he will be 30 years old, so he will be a little seasoned. So hopefully he can put together maybe a playoff run, be our quarterback for two, three years, and then hopefully groom the rookie that is underneath him. But Nick Foles also has never really had a steady starting all regular season job since he played for Jeff Fisher. So, you know, you really never know what you're going to get with 16 games of Nick Foles. Another negative about Nick Foles is the Jaguars are going to have to try and trade him. The Eagles have already expressed that they are not going to let Nick Foles go on the free agency, but they will listen to trade offers. And the unfortunate thing for Nick Foles <laughs> and these trades is that the Eagles know there's a lot of teams out there that are desperate for a quarterback. And the thing is, is the Jaguars might have to trade a first round pick to the Eagles in order to get Nick Foles. But I don't think it would be this year's first round pick uh, for the number seven overall picks. I don't think the Eagles necessarily need that. And I don't think Nick Foles is worth that. But maybe a future first round pick. Maybe next year's first round pick and maybe a fifth or something. But the thing is, is you're going to have to give up a first round pick to get Nick Foles. And I just don't know if that's worth it. But it would be a, such a Dave Codwell thing to do. Personally, if the offer is there to get him for like a second round pick, uh, I would do that. But a first round pick for Nick Foles does kind of seem a little hasty, but he definitely could be a guy to keep an eye on, especially this week when he plays in their playoff game against the Saints, because that guy might just be the Jacksonville Jaguars starting quarterback for the 2019 season. Coming in at number two, we have rookie quarterback Dwayne Haskins. Dwayne Haskins is a guy the Jaguars will definitely need to trade up for. They need to trade up in front of the Giants, and I think the Giants and the Jags right now are kind of battling to see who is going to win for Dwayne Haskins, who's willing to give up more. And I think that's a battle that the Jags don't want to be in, because if the Giants are willing to give up a ridiculous amount, like two first-round picks, and maybe like a second from next year, something just ungodly to get Dwayne Haskins. I don't know how I feel because, you know, I, being a Jags fan, I'm scarred from drafting rookie quarterbacks. You know, you're putting all of those picks into a guy that you think is going to be your future quarterback. That's not to say Dwayne Haskins is a bad option. He's definitely the best quarterback prospect uh, in this year's draft. However, the Jags will have to trade to get him and they will have to probably give up a lot. So it's kind of a give and take thing. Like, is it worth it to get Dwayne Haskins knowing how much you're going to have to give up in order to get him? You know, that sort of thing. And I think with the circumstances the Jags are in where they really want to go Super Bowl or bust, it might just be worth it to try and get Dwayne Haskins through the door. It depends on what the Jags do in free agency as far as a veteran quarterback. You know, if the Jags don't even go out and get like a quarterback that is a true veteran, a former starter, just know that they are going to trade the whole world to get Dwayne Haskins in the NFL draft, which I am completely fine with. Um, I would be excited to see a rookie quarterback take the regime of this team and really try to trade and, you know, really try to make its future better. And I think that's what Dwayne Haskins has in him. And I'm hoping this is my personal pick for what the job war should do at the quarterback position in 2019. And coming in at number one, another Super Bowl winning quarterback, Joe Flacco. I think if there's anybody that is out there right now that most likely will be the Jaguars starting quarterback in 2019, it is Joe Flacco. And it's not necessarily that I agree with that. It's just what I could see this franchise doing the most. And it's not necessarily a bad go for Joe Flacco. He was playing pretty decent for the Ravens before getting benched for Lamar Jackson. I mean, when you get that, you know, an exciting rookie like Lamar Jackson, he goes on, he wins a lot of games, you know, and you're a little older, you're a little seasoned, you know, they're obviously going to go with the younger, more exciting cat. And no way has Joe Flacco necessarily regressed. I think that if he came into Jacksonville, signed maybe like a two, three year contract with the team, I think he could do work with what he's given in Jacksonville, especially if we decide to settle with Joe Flacco as our quarterback. And no, we could probably sneak a Daniel Jones or a, you know, Drew Locke maybe, or a Will Greer in the second round, that, you know, Joe Flacco will be our starter for the next two to three years to groom the rookie behind him. And I think that's the best case scenario, 
because I think Joe Flacco could take the team that he's given uh, with some key free agent pickups at the wide receiver position, and we will see what he does at the running back position. But as long as his defense stays elite, you know, and you know a couple of guys are going to get cut. But, you know, even though those guys are going to get cut, they're still crucial players in each position on that defense. And Joe Flacco's used to playing with a good defense. And I think that that will help Joe Flacco a lot, knowing that he won't have to score necessarily 40 points a game in order to win. You know, to you know to know that he you had to score 20 or so points to win. Plus, he's a quarterback that could actually throw the ball. You know, we, we struggled looking at Blake Bortles and Cody Kessler, who just look like they've never thrown a football before in their life. But you got Joe Flacco, who may be a future Hall of Famer with his Super Bowl ring and, you know, being a longtime Ravens guy. You know, and, and maybe the chain of se- change of scenery will be good for Flacco. Maybe it's time to revitalize his career a little bit and maybe go on to win one more Super Bowl, and maybe he could do it for the city of Jacksonville. And that was five quarterbacks that could be the starting quarterback for the Jaguars in 2019. What did you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to check the links down below as well. Don't forget you can like me on Facebook, at Dream Talks. Follow me on Twitter, at Trevon Pixley, or follow me on Instagram, at Trayvon Pixley. Also, if you're feeling oh so generous, you can go ahead and donate on Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash Tree Talks. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure you click that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody at work with me. Them are just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great day.